The lights are about to go down inside the Visalia Convention Centre where RFA number 42 was alive and happening. G'day everybody, Michael Chavello, Bus Roots, and with you, Bus. The night kicked off in fantastic fashion when the gremlin Stephen Gruber defeated Shy Lindsay. Yeah, this was great. Lindsay did a really good job in the first round, but just all the way at the end, he got clipped suddenly. And it was the last 10 seconds of the round, and that set everything in motion for round number two, which is what you're going to see now here. He was all over the place. That left high kick pretty much sealed the deal. A little ground and pound action, and uh, our referee Marcos goes like, nah, we uh, want to stop it. No, let's wait for a submission. Boom, rear naked choke. Why not? The gremlin goes six and three. Shy Lindsay falls to four and two. Salvi Ramos is one of the best BJJ guys on the planet and he showed why tapping out Mike Flock. Flock taking the fight on only four days' notice. Yeah, for somebody on four days' notice, he did a great job. But you know, if you're facing an eight-time eight -time world champion Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and he gets you on the ground, uh, chances you're going to be submitted are going to be pretty high. Set it up with a neck crank, slid it into a rear naked choke. Boom, all she wrote. Salvi Ramos now five and one. Mike Flock falls to seven and two. Cody Bollinger took on Anthony Avila. Bollinger, a master of the first round finishes, but it was the Shark Avila who got the first round win here. Yeah, and early also, watch this. Bollinger's gonna try to take him down, and then when he does, it kind of backfires. He's gonna throw him over now, but whoop, he keeps, keeps his balance. Rear name of a guillotine choke, alpha male, all the way. And he told us that he was gonna do a uh, guillotine choke, so he was a prophesy. Anthony Avila prophesizes to 13 and 4. Bollinger goes to 17 and 6. Our main event, Arthur Estrazolas took on Christos Yagos. Most people thought it would end in the second round. It went the distance in a torrid affair. Yagos getting the knife. Yeah, this was crazy. It was all over the place. Big punches. The most damage was, uh, of course, done by the Spartan. Constantly pressing forward. And slowly but surely, he started taking the fight more and more towards himself. And later in the rounds, he really got dominated. He got the takedown, got on top, and I mean, he controlled everything from the half on. Gargos now 13 and five and says he wants back in the UFC. Join us next on September 2, Lion Fight 31 Muay Thai with four world title fights.